In this video, let's take a look at the material select component, which is a form control for selecting a value from a set of options. The first step is to import the module. So in material.module.ts, we're going to import mat select module and add it to the material array. Now we can create our first material select component. The material select component, just like the input component, has to be wrapped inside the form field component. So mat form field. Now the component for a select control is mat select. Within the select component, we add a label using the mat label component. The label is going to be topic. Every option for this select control is specified using the mat option component. So mat option. And let's create three of them. Each option will have the inner text which the user can see and a value which is sent to the server. So we are going to have Angular, React and View all in title case which can be seen in the browser and the same all in lower case as the corresponding value which will be sent to the server. So mat option value is equal to angular, value is equal to react and value is equal to view. So we have the label and the three options. And there is a small correction. The label has to be outside the mat select component. So the label goes inside mat form field. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have a basic material select control. The label is shown by default and when you select a value, the label floats to the top. Now we have already discussed the features of the form field component about labels, about hints, appearance and theming. So I'm not going to demo them again in this video. Instead, we are going to focus only on the select component. The first thing you might want to do is track the value of the select control. And that can easily be done using two-way binding. So back in VS Code, in the component class, create a new property called selected value. This is of type string. Next, in the HTML, we two-way bind to that property. So on mat select, we are going to add two-way binding, so banana in a box. Value is what we bind to. This is going to be equal to selected value. To view the value in the browser, let's interpolate it. Now, if we take a look at the browser, we don't have a value displayed. Select a topic and its corresponding value is displayed. The value displayed reflects the value attribute in the HTML. Sometimes you might want an option to clear out the selected value. In such a scenario, use an option with no value attribute. So we are going to add another option, mat option, and the text is going to be none and there is no value attribute. So now if you go back to the browser, select a value and the value is displayed select none and the value is reset. The next feature possible with material select is grouping related options under a particular subheading. And for that, we make use of the material option group component. So back in VS Code, I'm going to replace the existing options with a set of options that are saved in my clipboard. So what we now have is mat option for none and then we have mat option group component with a particular label. Now this is the label that groups these three mat option components. So angular react view will be displayed under a label of web. And similarly, ionic and react native will be displayed under the category label of mobile. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that we now have the topics grouped under a subheading. We have none, we have web which cannot be selected and then we have the options under web, angular, react and view. 
Similarly, we have mobile, which is the label that can't be selected. And under mobile, we have Ionic and React Native. So that is about grouping together the options. And it is also possible to allow multiple selections. All we have to do is add the multiple attribute on the select component. So on math select, add multiple. Now, if you take a look at the browser, the options turn into checkboxes and you can toggle selection on multiple options. So we now have Angular and React and the corresponding value is displayed. All right, those are some of the properties of Angular Materials Select Component. And the reason I code the options line by line and not use an ng4 directive is simply because ng4 is not an Angular Material concept. I want to help you understand the possibilities with Angular Material and how you want to use it or improve it is completely up to you. So in the next video, let's take a look at autocomplete in Angular Material. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.